Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. Hi, my name is Tio Chino. Um, I have a bank in a garage. And I heard your comment about a bank in a garage. And you Some people wouldn't like that comment. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's in the garage. I would prefer it in, to be in Wall Street or anywhere else. But you have to start in the technology world in the garage, like HP, like many others. Like Ponzi, too, I guess. It started in a garage. <laughs> but that hasn't prevented... Did you say Fonzie? Ponzi? Ponzi. <laughs> that hasn't prevented other guy to have 60 years later to pull the same trick. So what is the DFS going to do to allow people to start bank in the garage with the technological, get insurance, get other things, then make a deal with the bank? Because the way I read the reg right now is bank in the garage need to make a deal with big bank. And if you cannot make a deal with big bank, DFS will not give a bid license. And the bid license are, not, are too broad from what I read where there is not a clear definition of what bank in a garage need to accomplish to get a bid license. So is the DFS going to work much more on a progressive system that we allow the big bank, the bank in the garage or whoever else to foster in New York State to make sure New York State residents are not trickled by the bank in the garage with the Ponzi scheme idea? Right. So um, hopefully there won't be any Ponzi scheme ideas. Uh, <laughs> But look, you're asking, implicit in your question is you're asking that fundamental, I think one of the hardest questions we face, which is what do we do um, about compliance costs? And the compliance costs, if they're too burdensome, if it's all too technical, if it's just too much, how is a startup with three buddies in a garage with a great idea, or in a basement, let's say, uh, going to get off the ground? Um, if they face this enormous initial hurdle to uh, move forward and get a license and to operate in, you know, what I consider to be the greatest financial center in the world. And uh, the answer is, you know, I punted on it uh, in the speech. And um, I think it's probably the toughest question we face because we want to make sure that even if you're a startup, uh, startup, you're doing certain things um, because, as we know, um, if there's an area of the market that goes unregulated or is very lightly regulated, it can, not always, but it can become sort of a dark corner where a lot of things we don't want to see happen. And those who want to uh, aid terrorists and send money around the globe and, and, and engage in money laundering or sell drugs or you choose your illicit activity uh, often flow to those dark corners. Um, so we want to make sure there's enough regulation in place to prevent that from happening, uh, but at the same time uh, have it be uh, not overly burdensome. And you know, I, I didn't get into it in the speech, but you know, we've had some very good proposals uh, from some of the commentators uh, who have submitted them to us uh, about maybe a tiered approach or a safe harbor approach, and we're working through uh, that, and we're just not there yet, so I wasn't prepared today to tell you how we're going to do that, but I commit to you that we're going to uh, try and do it in as thoughtful and careful, as careful a way as possible because it goes back to that collision I started which, with, which is um, when you become, when you start engaging in banking activities, there's a reason there are tight regulations because it's a lot of potential for a lot of bad problems, e even at our largest institutions. Um, at the same time, the tech world is changing the face of banking as we know it, a lot of the times for the better, and it's doing it in profound ways. And it's all often driven by this technological innovation, often coming from startups, which start small. And uh, we face this issue somewhat with our smaller banks, frankly. I, we have a whole, everyone knows the, you know, the JP Morgans and the cities and the Wells Fargo's of the world here in New York. But in New York State, we regulate the whole state, we have 70, 80 banks in upstate New York, many of which are tiny. And when Dodd-Frank got passed, they had a huge problem because the potential compliance costs from Dodd-Frank could put some of them out of business. And um, you know, I remember sitting with certain CEOs when I first got this job from those banks saying, 
I and now I'm in a position where I'm going to have three loan officers and ten compliance officers. And I looked at the CEO and said, well, that's not a business model that will work. They said, I know, that's why I'm here to see you. And so that we worked that out over time. And it was hard and it actually required us to spend a lot of time in Washington uh, dealing with how we draw uh, those uh, final regs for Dodd-Frank uh, in certain ways that don't crush our community banks upstate. It's sort of a similar endeavor and that's what we're wrestling with. Of course. Yeah. That's what we're here for. And, uh, you know, and I, don't, I don't mean that facetiously. I, you know, we, uh, there's a whole group of about 15 DFS people here tonight uh, in these first couple of rows. And they spend a lot of time talking to companies and startups and other people who want to uh, get off the ground. Um, they, we have other people who spend a lot of time talking to community banks and big banks and you know a lot of what we do is not enforcement. It's sort of prudential regulation. We want the banking sector to succeed I in New York as much as possible. We want new companies, new tech companies uh, succeeding in New York um, as much as possible. So uh, I have no hesitation answering your question, yes. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.